Parents, does this look familiar? If your middle schoolers or teens are spending too much time sitting around staring at their phones or tablets and not enough time exercising, what do you do? Taking away their devices can be a nightmare. We'll show you how technology can actually help get them up and moving. First, what's the scoop on recommended activity? Shape America recommends kids get at least 60 minutes of physical activity per day, while also avoiding periods of inactivity for two hours or more. Here are our best ideas for getting your kids off the couch using technology. Number one, apps that get them moving. There are lots of fun, free apps that you can download on your phone or tablet. For example, you may know of teachers that use Go Noodle in their classroom, but the great thing is it's also available for you to use at home. Go Noodle has hundreds of on-demand videos that guide and motivate your kids to dance around and work out. Swark It Kids is another free app for ages 7 to 14 that features kids as the instructors. They can design their own workouts, including the length of time, intensity, and the types of exercises. There's a Swark It app for grown-ups too, that's like having your own personal trainer. Number two, cool tech they can wear. Fitness wearables aren't just for adults. Kids can wear them too. While tracking their activity on their watch or tracker, they can also use their phones, tablets, or computers to see their progress and earn rewards. Specifically designed for kids, the Garmin Vivo Fit Junior comes in fun patterns or styles like Star Wars. Fitbit has a couple of options for less than $100. The Fitbit Zip Tracker has a large tap display and can clip to their belt or pocket. The Fitbit Flex 2 is the slimmest wristband that's also swim-proof. The whole family can compete in challenges through the Fitbit app. You know your kids best. Not all of these ideas will work for your children, but the important thing is to keep them active for at least 60 minutes per day.